Today's topic is trusting yourself to love again. Now, this is a conversation that I want to have with a lot of people because in my coaching sessions, I, I have to deal with a lot of things from men and women that are so hurt and crushed because they thought they met their soulmate. They thought they met the person that they were going to share their life with and then boom, everything falls apart and the relationship is over. And what they have a problem with is getting past the hurt of being rejected. How did this person not love them like they say, said they did? Why do they just walk away from a situation that's going so well? The bigger question here is, is how can you get past something when you, you've made up your mind that this is the person you want to be with and then all of a sudden they're gone? A lot of the times it kind of happens out of nowhere as well. You think everything's great. And this is the problem. There's not a lot of closure for people. When you have this sort of, you know, in your face breakup and it's out of the blue, it takes so much longer to get over that because you're dealing with such an ego crushing situation. What, what's wrong with me? Why didn't, why don't they love me? What, I don't understand how they could leave. When you put your heart and soul into somebody and you really believe, you know, this is your partner, this is your person, this is your everything that you've waited a long time for, and then all of a sudden it's gone. It rips your heart in two. It rips it into actually a million pieces. And you're so jaded about it and upset about it, you just don't know how to get past it. How am I ever gonna trust somebody again? Look what they did to me. They told me all these great things and I was their, you know, their everything and then they just frick it up and leave. How do you get past that? The thing you have to look at is you've got to take a little bit of ownership in what transpired in the relationship because your instincts know. They know when there's some little red flags that are popping up around the place. Unless your partner is such a good actor and that can happen as well. But you want to sit there and really keep your eyes open all the time when you're in any relationship. But we never know what they're thinking 100% of the time. And this can make us very scared to even venture into that again. Why do we want to get our heart broken? So what do we do? We just sit there, play a little bit of the victim sometimes. Not everybody, but sometimes. We play the victim that we were hurt and we are not going to go back and try that again. We're not going to be dumb the second time around. So what do we do? We just sit there and live our life and just see our friends and kind of exist, but we're not being true to ourselves and giving, the, giving us the love that we really truly want. We're kind of pretending we don't need it. Some people don't need it, but I would say the majority of people really want it in their life because it adds so much more to your everyday existence when there's somebody to share things with. So if you've got your feelings all barricaded, you know, that nobody's coming into this steel wall that I've built, well, that's not going to work really well long term, is it? Because you're the one shortchanging yourself. Your partner's moved on. They've hurt you, they've moved on, and they're probably in another relationship. And you're sitting here letting them control and take the power still over you. Now, is that really what you want? Do you want this person who's hurt you? to this degree to have that much power over you take it back you can meet somebody else to love it's not a one one person situation for the rest of your life I mean some people are lucky and meet their soulmate when they're like 15 but that doesn't happen very often so take what happened in this situation take the lessons and really pay attention to those lessons there's probably something there that you weren't supposed to be with them you know what how do I explain that? You, there, sometimes there's things that you just don't really notice that were missing in the relationship because maybe you were really sexually attracted to them and, and, or just physically attracted to them and so you overlook things. The universe usually does have you, you know, in their sights. They don't sort of try and make your life hell. So don't let this person take power over you anymore. Get back out and date again. And when you do date, take your time. Don't jump in in all fours like trying to make things happen quickly do not sleep with them right away because you don't trust them you don't trust yourself so take time really really date slowly and get to know them the, the nice uh, slow pace 
and figure out who they are before you jump in. So it shouldn't be once bitten, forever single. Learn from your mistakes and move on and find somebody who's way better suited for you. You don't see it now, but you will. But you have to give people a chance and let them into your emotional world. Because there's not just one romantic partner per person, per lifetime. So please don't get stuck in that and think that you're never going to trust somebody. All women are the same. All men are the same. It's just going to happen to me again. You might have one or two situations. Chalk it up on the, on the board and move on to a better situation. Thanks everyone for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please subscribe to my channel and check me out at cybersue.com. I have tons of advice column and, and blog posts there. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.